welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a conglomeration of all kinds of things I need to do some food prepping um, obviously you're gonna get some cleaning motivation and I have a few like little projects here and there that really need to be done around the house things that I don't do like in my normal weekly clean like cleaning out my coffee maker and stuff like that um, that I'd only do every once in a while so I've got a few things like that and then we're also going to make some DIY gogurt sticks and ice pops and yogurt cups. The girls are really excited about those. I've been talking about making these for like about a week or two now and I finally have everything I need to make them. So I think it's going to be a really fun little project. The girls are down for their naps right now. It is the middle of the afternoon so I don't know if I will get everything done today. I may end up filming this between today and tomorrow and I don't think I have a lot more to say so let's get to work. So I started out in the living room just kind of picking up the house. This is something I like to do whenever the girls take their naps, if I get a minute. Um, just kind of writing up the house so that it is nice and clean when they wake up from their naps and into the evening. If you're ever looking for the recipes I use to make my cleaners, you can check out my oil Instagram page. I do most of my DIYs on there. I know this says dish rinse aid. Um, it's actually what I put in my rinse aid compartment in my dishwasher and sometimes I even dump a little bit in the bottom of the dishwasher. Uh, but all it is is white vinegar. I just repurposed um, a container from something else just to make it convenient and like hands held size to put into my dishwasher. So I'm going to put, I don't know, maybe like about an inch or so of white vinegar and then maybe... I don't know, less than half of it the rest of the way with water and then run a couple cycles with my um, K cup out of here obviously just empty and then just running it to get it descaled and cleaned out. While I'm doing that, I'm also going to refill my K cups. I think I've shown these to you guys before but they're so convenient and I can get so many K cups out of one bag, like normal size bag of coffee. All I do is fill it up to the little line. There's like a lip inside here and then we just reuse them, reuse them. Sometimes I put them in the dishwasher, sometimes we just wash them at the sink um, but they're from Amazon I will link them below and they're super inexpensive and totally worth it just because it saves us so much money so I just do this and then I put them all into my canister by my Keurig I got these off of Amazon. They are like kind of hard to see, I guess, maybe because they're clear, but they're basically like a long, skinny Ziploc bag, and you put 
either ice pop stuff in them or like really whatever you want to put in them um, and then obviously they're more ideal to freeze so what I'm gonna do is I've actually made some homemade yogurt and I made it in my last meal prep video so you can go back and check that out if you want to um, and I probably will be making another batch again soon and you could mix fruit into them it also comes with this little spout thingy I think there is like a hundred yeah there's a hundred and fifty in here and you yeah you can do anything you want to so today I'm going to actually just take vanilla yogurt that I've made um, put a little bit of stevia well it's plain yogurt right now put some vanilla some stevia and then food coloring into them to make like gogurt sticks that are frozen and then I'm also going to make freeze pops with fruit and blend it up but we'll get to that in a second so I'm gonna mix this up first In my next meal prep video, I'm gonna be making some more yogurt and I'll go into a little more detail on how exactly I make it step by step. I know that there was a lot of requests for that, so I will definitely be doing that. The girls have had so much fun eating these and the fact that they're a bright color of course makes them really attractive to them. And for me, I'm just glad to know that they're not eating a lot of sugar since they're sweetened with stevia. All right, so next I started in on doing the smoothie pops, that's what I'm calling them. Um, and basically I just did some fruit and some stevia and then I think on some of them I had added a little bit of like almond extract and then I added in some almond milk and just kind of made a smoothie type consistency. Each one was a little bit different because they had different types of fruit in them. And that's the other thing, I kind of tried to pick out fruit that would make specific colors just to make them fun. Okay, so when it came to loading these up with the smoothies, I had to kind of get creative. The consistency was a little bit different than the yogurt and they didn't go in quite as easily. So I just grabbed a metal straw that I had, but you could use literally anything and that helped to get them down through. The other thing too is I had a solid plastic funnel instead of the silicone and I went ahead and used that. So since I ran out of yogurt, I decided to go ahead and make jello cups instead of doing yogurt cups. I figured I'll do the yogurt cups whenever I make more yogurt, but I wanted to try this out anyways. It's a really healthy way to do jello cups. So I just put a little bit of food coloring in and then I used some essential oils. If you don't have essential oils, you could always use just like an extract, like a lemon extract or whatnot from the store. And then I put in a little bit of stevia and then I also put in beef gelatin since that has a lot of great health benefits. Mm -hmm. 
I did lemon, orange, and grapefruit. So I did yellow, orange, and pink for the cups. The girls thought these were so much fun. And basically I did about four cups of water for each color. Then I went ahead and did a tablespoon of gelatin for each cup. So four tablespoons for each batch. And then I sweetened it just to taste. These cups are from Amazon as well. So it is the next day and Corey is home right now. I think we just had some food delivered. Um, but as you can see behind me, I need to kind of do a clean sweep through our room. I've got a couple loads of laundry to fold. I kind of am hoping, it looks like it could rain, but I'm hoping that the rain holds off enough that I can get in the back porch and just kind of clean up back there, sweep, um, wipe the table down and all of that. I try to do that about once a week or as needed. I also need to go into the dining room and just kind of clean up in there. I've been doing a little routine with the girls every single morning and I think soon, you can let me know in the comments, but I think I might do a morning routine and just talk to you guys about like everything that I've been doing with them because we started a new routine that's been working really well. and. I also need to make some DIY hand sanitizers. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that and we'll see what else gets done today. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I go through spurts of folding my laundry in different places of my house. Like I'll go through a spurt of folding it in my laundry room, and right now I'm on a kick of folding it on my bed. <laughs> don't ask me why. So this day I had a couple loads to do and just knocked them all out at once. I went outside and got the entire patio kind of cleaned up. So whenever it comes to this area, I do kind of just let it go throughout the week, especially because the girls are in a stage where they love to play with mud. And with being home all the time and not able to go anywhere right now, I just let them have fun and be kids because mud is easy to wash up and it's not gonna hurt anybody. So they take their buckets and they collect mud from a little spot in the yard and bring it in and they pretend that they're cooking and all of those fun things.
I mentioned this, I think, in my last video, but I've just been keeping a tablecloth on this table because we have been doing so many projects and activities at this table with being home, and um, it just helps to protect the table. And if it really gets bad looking, I can throw it away if I need to. Like I said, we've been doing a new little routine in the mornings, and so I keep everything that we use in the mornings over here in this basket. It's just really convenient to be able to pull everything out and just do it all here. And if you guys like, I can go into more detail in a video soon about what we're doing. Um, but one other thing I wanted to make a comment about is this rug is a ruggable rug. As you know, we are potty training Hazley, and she had an accident on one of these chairs and it like created quite a puddle underneath the chair but it did not go into the rug so if you have pets I totally recommend these because they really do hold up well to wet stuff getting on them and you can take them and throw them in the washer and they are water like resistant all right I'm sitting down here at the table to show you guys a little DIY so technically I can't call this hand sanitizer because it's not been approved and all of that stuff so for those technical reasons i'm going to call this a hand cleansing spray so these are the things that you're going to need i'm going to turn the camera around here in a second i just wanted to explain why i'm calling it that and the this is a really great way to reuse your oil bottles if you're an oil person and um it's nice a nice little handy size to keep in your bag or your diaper bag all right so these are some empty bottles and basically Basically all I did was take them to the sink and pull the labels off and if you have any trouble getting any of the residue off from behind the label just grab either lemon oil and I actually just tried orange oil and it did a great job at taking the rest of the sticky residue off and then these are some spray um, tops that you can actually get off of Amazon and I'm going to trim the bottom part the tube so that it's obviously not quite this long then one other thing you're going to want to do is remove this little plastic part this is the on guard oil that I'm gonna be actually putting in the hand cleanser these I already did that with so I'm just gonna pull the top off and as you can see there is nothing inside of there and the one of these was actually a tea tree oil and the other one was on guard so I didn't really worry about like cleaning the inside of them because it doesn't matter that those things are in there and really I think any oil doesn't necessarily matter um, but that's entirely up to you. A few things that you'll need besides the bottles and the spray tops is some aloe vera gel and this is actually pure aloe vera so that means that I have to keep it in the refrigerator but I'm not worried at all about putting them in these because you also use alcohol and you want it to be 70% alcohol. That is what's recommended to make hand sanitizer. Between that and the On Guard being in it, I'm not worried about needing to refrigerate the small amount that's going to be in these bottles. You can obviously make way bigger batches than this, but right now I just wanted to do two of them just to keep in um, the car and stuff as we're going in and out of stores. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is put a teaspoon of the alcohol into each bottle. I should have probably put this cloth down before I started. Another thing that's helpful is if you have a mini funnel, which I don't, so I'm kind of messing around with this. Next, you'll put a half teaspoon of aloe vera gel in each bottle. Last, you'll want to put about five drops of On Guard into each bottle. Top them off with filtered water.
I hope this video inspired and motivated you guys. I am working on some other bigger projects to come this next week, so I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm doing. It's definitely decor related, and if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed, joined my channel. I do three motivating videos every single week, um, just kind of whatever I'm up to as a homemaker and a mom. Don't forget to give this video a like, leave a comment below, let me know how you guys are doing today and I will see you guys in my next video.